Hello, welcome to this new series on modelling aircraft. This is going to be a complete run through of a aircraft. It's going to be the Bristol Brabazon. It's quite a unique aircraft in that it has contra rotating blades and it's one of the largest aircraft the British ever built. The idea of the series is to run you through fully from nothing to flying of designing an aircraft, 3D printing it making sure it flies. The prerequisites for this aren't that much, you just need to decide if you're following along yourself the wingspan that you want to model for and that basically dictates everything else about the aircraft so I typically start with a 1500 millimeter wingspan so one and a half meters and that generally generally gives a cord of about 200 millimeters which fits on most 3d printers from there you want to decide which aircraft so Bristol Brabazon you want to find a three view drawing of it so it basically has a front view a top-down view and a side view and if you're doing this with another aircraft if you find one with cross sections then that greatly improves the modeling but you don't need to, especially for something like this, which is a very basic fuselage. Something like this is basically just a tube. Then it's very simple to do. I'd also, if you're interested in the history of this aircraft, recommend watching this video by Mustard. It's a very good channel and it explains in detail about the aircraft. But that's basically all you need. So the series will probably run quite a while it's going to build on my other videos on modeling a wing but it's going to go into modeling the fuselage as well from there i'm going to talk a little bit about airfoils talk about aileron placement and then finally 3d print an aircraft have it fly initially on just single props but eventually contra rotating props and that should help guide you from start to finish if you want to design another aircraft of how to start it, how to go about thinking of the process, especially for one with a more complicated fuselage. So one that I'm also working on is a Fokker Wolf uh, and that's much more difficult in that the fuselage changes shape much more drastically this is a model obviously but the fuselage changes shape shape much more drastically but the same principle applies you just have to and as i go through the series i'll talk about the changes that you might need to make for more complicated aircraft so if you want to watch this then i'll hopefully release a video a week but that may slip I'm not sure yet and the amount of videos I'm going to try and set them into blocks so fuselage, wings, aileron, horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, mountings for servos, internal mountings for receivers, motors and try and keep each video relative to what it's talking about so that it's easy to follow along if you want to just skip to one bit so if you know what you're doing and all you want to do is work out how to size an aileron you can skip to that video so subscribe if you want to know if you want to keep up to date and watch them as they come out 